Hi, welcome to the Spirit Healers channel. My name is Crystal, this is Paul. Today we're checking out the Oracle of the Shape Shifters. This is by Lucy Cavendish and the artwork is by Jasmine Beckett Griffith. Lucy Cavendish has done cards without Jasmine as her artist, but they did several decks together. Uh -huh. I have another deck at home we can try next week, and I'm gonna be probably be ordering the Alice in Wonderland one. I love them. You guys should totally check this out. You've never seen these? No, no, I've never seen these before. Have you heard of Lucy Cavendish? Nope. You're always going into these stores looking at cards. Well, well yeah, as you can tell, I've got a whole bunch here, but no, I haven't. But you go into the store all the time and they have like so many cards in there. Yes. I'd be shocked if they didn't have these. Do I need any more? Yeah. Oh, okay. You always need more. <laughs> the boss speaks. <laughs> okay. So well, these... all right. So let's see if they work. Okay. Right. So I'd already shuffled these, by the way. Right. So, um, so this one's for you. Your, your reading is. All right. So the first one is, ooh, amphitrite. So, what I learned in um, medium class was, you know, you look at the picture. You know, and what comes and you trans read it. And to me, that's um, Venus on the half shell. So she's kind of naked. So it's like she's telling <laughs> Crystal to get naked. <laughs> that's what I was like thinking. Um, I guess I'm supposed to get naked. <laughs> uh, but OK, beyond that, um, uh, she was married to Poseidon. She's um, goddess of the dolphins. And um, oh, oh. This is all to do with shape changes, by the way. Um, so dolphins are really smart and playful. So it's saying something about Crystal being um, really smart and playful, you know, um, get in touch with that aspect of her personality. And something about diet, um, omega-3s, stuff like that. So yeah, eat, eat better. But yeah, real cutie. All right, and the next one. Ooh. Miss Spiderweb. Okay, that's kind of creepy. Um, I'm kind of feeling trapped here. Eek. She looks like uh, a vampire. Well, yeah, but um, you know, spiders are always considered creepy. Um, so it's like, okay, beware, be cautious. Um, but you know, she has the power. She has the web. She she catches. So um, dream weaver type thing. That's a possibility. <gasps> oh. Oh, wow, I need to catch people. Yes, uh, but also it's connections. You're always in touch. So any little vibration and you, you get a sense of what's going on there. Um, but some of them can be noisy. Just think of it as a, just a, an irritation. So it's asking you to look at your connections and perhaps dampen down or get rid of those that are just plain noisy and, and listen in to those that are perhaps supportive. So. Um, yeah, spiders to do with Gaia um, and the fates and stuff like that. So incredibly powerful and that energies underneath this. Oh, oh well, this is a nice pink one, delicate, kind of contrast with the other one. Albino alligator. Uh, magical protection is necessary. All right, so we've got a, a delicate young lady with a creature that is kind of really difficult to kill and you know really dangerous you know you, you just don't go playing with alligators and crocodiles and stuff like that and she's hugging it and she's hugging it so <laughs> it's like th this this pet she has a protector so while she's delicate she's got some protector there and it mentions magical so yeah there's a number of goddesses out there um durga in india um egyptian other stuff that, that would really do a number on, on anyone that protected the, the innocent, the helpless, stuff like that. All right, so you've got, either you have some, someone, something protecting you or, or it's suggesting you, you go find something because, you know, little girls can do no wrong. They could just charm whatever and, and just, just make an alligator so besotted with you that you do it. All right, so, so that's your reading. Awesome. All right.